I'm Kathleen Kennedy, and I'm the president of Lucasfilm. You know, Star Wars was so jaw-dropping when I first saw it. It opened the door to exploring things that may have only existed in your imagination. And now could be explored in cinema. I actually saw the movie when I was in college and I was just deciding to become a film major. I went with a bunch of friends in my filmmaking class and everybody began to realize that what we were watching was a game changer. And now moving forward with the Star Wars movies. And the great thing about many of the filmmakers we're bringing into the family is that they're all fans. They all have a deep emotional connection to Star Wars. And I think that that's something that's really important as we look around and identify the people who will step in and direct these films. We're looking for caretakers. My name is Gareth Edwards, and I'm the director of Rogue One. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. My really early memories of Star Wars, my mum and dad came back with the tape. It was a new hope. Use the force, Luke. Put it in. I genuinely thought, I know what I'm doing for the rest of my life. The whole premise of the standalone movies is that they are unique and separate from the saga. And destroyed our hope. They're really supporting the idea of this having a unique voice. As long as we stay true to the events and the characters. But Star Wars means the world to me. Yeah, I'm Kiri Hart and I run the Lucasfilm Story Group. I spend a fair amount of time working on film development, but also games, publishing, animation, all the Star Wars storytelling that's going on is touched by the group in some way. Original trilogy era storytelling is very fun for me, and I have really been enjoying working on Rogue One for that reason. Just sort of touching a moment in Star Wars history that I really love. I grew up at the right moment to be an original trilogy kid. It just hit me at that perfect age. I saw A New Hope in the theater when I was seven, and it was a love affair from there on out. I'm Pablo Hidalgo, and I'm a creative executive as part of Lucasfilm's story group. So the story group is very busy these days. We got a lot of tasks in front of us as we expand the Star Wars universe. We've got a lot of movies in development, television, animation, theme park experiences, books, comics, you name it. A big part of my job is knowing the Star Wars universe backwards and forwards and looking for those opportunities of connection. Together, we knew the story of Rogue One would come very close to the events of Episode Four, So we wanted to make sure that, you know, as a piece of Star Wars history, it was accurate. I jokingly say to my wife when I leave for work in the morning, I gotta go make the Star Wars, right? Uh, but like I say that with, with absolute love because how many of us can say that they get the shape and be involved with something that's meant so much to them for so much of their life? As a Star Wars fan, I am very lucky. <coughs> I am Dave Filoni, the executive producer of Star Wars Rebels. Every day I get to come in and tell stories in the Star Wars universe. Every day. Here's the diagram for the design of the hangar. I was really young when Star Wars first came out. In fact, the biggest memory I have is driving home after Star Wars, sitting in the back of our car. My brother and I were blasting all the other cars on the road like we're in the Millennium Falcon. Supervising Star 
Wars has a massive fan base. But I feel we have to keep earning that fan base. We have to live up to their great expectations. No rebels! It's part of the job. The amazing thing to me about Star Wars fans is they believe so much in that universe. And it's our responsibility to transport them back to it. Yeah, I am lucky that way. My name is Doug Chang. I'm the Vice President and Executive Creative Director for Lucasfilm. I've worked on Star Wars now for over 20 years because I, I started working with George back in 1995 on the prequels. What I do is I oversee all the design aspects for all the new Star Wars franchise developments. So that includes feature films, theme parks, uh, games, you know, anything that's Star Wars related. And I had the great fortune of production designing Rogue One. Michigan, I had no idea of anything of the film industry. But when I saw Star Wars when I was 15, it made me realize that's what I wanted to do. But I had no idea that people like me could actually even aspire to do something like that. And it was the following year that I saw the making of Star Wars. That documentary really affected me deeply because it really showed me that there were people who were doing this. People that are behind the camera that actually do the craft. My name is John Noel. I'm visual effects supervisor and executive producer on Rogue One. Well, Star Wars has a special place in, in my heart because when I was in high school, the first Star Wars film came out, and that was when I was just starting to get serious about what I was going to do ultimately as a career. I think the main purpose of, uh, of these flybys is just so we've got a paint job that we can photograph and project onto the CG models. There was all this new excitement in the field. There was a, a big rush to, to make more imaginative and technically ambitious films. Really, without Star Wars, I probably wouldn't be here today. this project is here because of what Star Wars did to them as a child and the effect it had on them. And so you dream of making movies and, and you know, getting a bullseye in the, um, the exhaust port of movie making. This is a job of imagination and dreams where we can turn them into reality. You go out in the world and you see a little kid engaging with Star Wars and you understand it's their parents that have brought them into this world. It's just this great generational thing. And if I'm able to help give a father or mother that gift that they pass along to their children, I think, you know, that's, that's incredible. There is the original trilogy generation. There's the prequel trilogy generation. There's the animated Clone Wars generation. And now kids are going to be the Ray Finn BB-8 generation. I don't know what it must be like to be a kid growing up with this much awesome. We're going to need those kids in the future to keep this thing going because there's a lot to do. Within the Star Wars universe, there's endless possibilities to the stories we can tell. It's really exciting to think about May the force be with us.